All right, so they're super hard today, and that's the deal. This warm-up is getting tiresome. All right, if I get one more in that spot, then I will tell you guys where I'm playing, what I'm doing, and then we are gonna make this ball extremely illegal, and I'm gonna see if it does anywhere near the same thing. That's probably close enough, right? All right, so today I am finished warming up. I'm playing 22, throwing it about over 20, 21 at the arrows, a little bit of rotation with this Deviate Hellcat. As you can see right here, it looks completely normal. Normal Deviate Hellcat, normal layout, normal everything. And now we are going to sand just the top half of the bowling ball. That's it. So I'm gonna sand everything from here on up and uh, make this ball extremely illegal by USBC and PBA standards. Here in the shop, on the spinner, and I'm gonna sand the ball, I'm thinking to 500 grit, but only on top of the ball. And what 500 grit is, it is an Aberlon pad here in the shop that is just gonna make the ball hook earlier, hook more probably. Um, however, you would usually do this to, you know, you would usually sand the top of the ball, turn it, sand the bottom of the ball, turn it, sand the side, turn it, sand the side, turn it, sand the top. So you would sand the entire bowling ball, all, you know, all six sides per se of the bowling ball. However, today I'm only sanding one side and that is just the very top of the bowling ball. I don't know what it's gonna make the ball do, but I, I know it's gonna make it look weird on the lane and I know it probably is gonna hook a lot more. Rule 18, section seven. Can a bowler use an abrasive cleaner or polish on just the track or only a portion of the bowling ball? The answer is no. USBC specifications require that the entire surface of the ball be prepared in a uniform manner, meaning the entire ball must be either surfaced, polished, or cleaned the entire ball throughout. So what I'm doing here, extremely illegal. The penalty for a violation of this rule can include disqualification, forfeiture, removal from the league slash tournament, and even possible removal or suspension of USBC's membership. I'm gonna do this now when I'm practicing messing around for this video. Do not do this at a league or tournament or on your own unless you just wanna mess around. And if you do mess around, make sure you go back to the original surface of the bowling ball once you're done messing around. Can you tell the difference now? <laughs> I bet it just reacts like, like it's got a ton of surface on it. I don't know if it's got like, what you would assume would be like start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. However, with it being like the top and bottom half and I have 500 revs on the ball, I think it might just make it hook a little earlier. We'll see. When you hit the ball with this much surface and you're two-handed, it becomes very hard to hold on to the ball. And the answer is yes, I am a crybaby. Well, as promised, it hooked more. I didn't tell you guys, but you guys might've picked up on it. I switched from a 500 bat pad to a sanding disc because the 500 pad in there was more like a 2000 pad because I'm pretty sure it's been used about 2000 times. So, switch to a sanding disc that I, I believe was, I think it was 180 grit. So this is not 500, this is 180 on top, lane shine on the bottom, which is probably like a three or 4,000. Sometimes it just feels right, and this is not one of those times. If you guys want a good bowling ball, not like that one, uh, like this one that's brand new in the box, we just gave away this one to one of our 90,000 subscribers. So I wanna give, first off, a thank you to all of you guys who have followed me along in this journey on YouTube. And for that, once we hit 90,000 in the middle of December, like I promised, we're actually giving away six more bowling balls. This was the first of six, so we're giving away five more bowling balls, and you just have to, Stick along to the end of the video to see how, but the first requirement is just like Brian Duffy, you gotta be a subscriber of the channel because he won this one. So huge congratulations to Brian and stick along to the end of the video to see how you can enter to win one of these or some sport pads from Genesis. So the goal is to line up now. I'm not sure moving right is the answer, but I'm gonna move 10 right and see what happens. I mean, that was close, er, closer. I got it to the left side of the head pin. Maybe I'll move my eyes back to where they started and just keep my feet 10 right. I'm gonna move my feet, I'm gonna make the good old 10 with the feet, zero with the eyes.
I'm gonna move my eyes back two in. So we made a 10 and four to start, then we went 10 and zero. Now we're gonna go 10 and two. There's not a chance I don't shoot 200 right now. I think I'm ready to start this game because as I said, if my editor did a good job editing this video, I hit the pocket on my very next shot. Full pressure. Well, I said that two shots ago and then I washed out. Please cut that, please cut that. Goal score here, 200, which means I'm gonna need a double. So the first thing to check off that checklist, I need a double. I'm looking for probably one Brooklyn this game. So a double, a Brooklyn, 200. I think you're gonna have a hard time carrying but you should have it. Yeah, that's the thing. I, think, I do think if I hit the pocket, it is gonna be hard to carry because my ball is coming in so dead. Today, I wanna to give a huge shout out to our sponsor. Thank you, Bespoke Post, for sponsoring this video. Bespoke Post is a membership service where they send you a box of different goods every single month. Each box of awesome has around a $70 value, but you pay only a fraction of that price. The three boxes that I got were the Crackle Box, which has that you know little mini fire kit, as well as the s'mores kit and a little campfire story with some s'mores skewers. The second one we have is the Park Box, and that one's gonna have the chair that you can take on the go. I actually used it with my Crackle Box. And then the Weekender Box is the third and final box that I received, and that one's gonna have that travel duffel bag that I've already used on some weekend trips. You can hold about three to five days worth of clothes in it. 90% of the products in Bespoke Post boxes come from small brands, many of which are based right here in the United States. And I know I've used subscription boxes in the past, but one of the great things about this one is you only pay for what you want. You'll get a box assigned to you every single month based on a quiz you take when you sign up so they learn a little bit about you. And before it's even shipped, you'll get a preview of what comes inside the box to decide whether one, if you wanna keep it, two, you can swap it out for a different box or an offer, or three, you can skip the month entirely. And now to get 20% off your first box of awesome, click the link down below in the description and enter code BOWLING20 at checkout, or go to bespokepost.com, link down below slash BOWLING20, and use BOWLING20 when you check out for 20% off your first box of awesome. Let's get back to bowling. Did you say I was gonna have a hard time carrying when I got there? Cause that was the definition of dead. Cameraman slash professional ball reps. Nine spare frame one. Can't shoot 200 if we start flagging the easy ones. Which is an absolute lie. Threw it about the same. I tried to get a little more rotation on it and it just hooked. Right there. So rotation is not the answer. I'm gonna go back two left with my feet and I'm gonna try and roll it. So even though I came in dead and seven pinned, I think I'm gonna be all right with that. And I'm gonna move two left with my feet just to try and get my ball a little bit higher in the pocket. Oh my God. <laughs> Same spare. I don't know why I threw the backup ball at the last one. I'm afraid of chopping it like I feel like I do all the time. I went back two again, because my last one went too high. So I went back to the place I seven pinned and just said, if you seven pin eight more times in a row, it's okay. And there we go. There's one of, one of the next eight. Dude, what the f Well, I'm gonna need a couple more of those because we're behind the pace. Thought I was gonna get one on that. Right now, uh, we're not looking like 200. We're looking like 140. I just don't know what that ball is going to do. Sometimes I feel like I throw it good and it hooks and stops. Sometimes I feel like I throw it good and it hooks and hooks. Just gotta throw better shots or just make my stairs. This is my game. You take a breather. 
and remind everybody that spares are greater than eight baggers. Because if I made my spares, I wouldn't need the next three. Oh, Brooklyn. They are taking so many food orders. I'm gonna chop this one on purpose. And that's why you shouldn't throw a backup ball. I can still punch for 193. I feel like if given another opportunity, I could shoot 200. You're two spares away from 210. Yeah, I'm two spares away from 210. You know what I have to say to that? You guys can grab our merch at thehousebowling.com and support all of our missed spares by preaching us that spares matter. Oh, hello. That's what that's what I needed on the one in the ninth. God. God, I needed that one in the ninth. One hundred and ninety. Like we mentioned earlier in the video, congratulations to Brian Duffy for winning this bowling ball, being a subscriber. And what he did was he filled out that form at twohandedbowling.com. You can also click down below in the description. It's gonna be that first link, twohandedbowling.com. We have a form for all of our December giveaways and it's not too late to enter. So fill out that form down below in the description and you can enter to win one of these bowling balls. We got five more we're giving away or some Genesis Sport Pads. Thank you guys for sticking along all the way to the end and watching me shoot 193. As always, thank you, we appreciate it. Don't forget, click subscribe down below. Comment down below if you guys have any fun challenges you want me to see do on the channel. This one was brought to you by Dennis Helmick. So if you guys want any cool challenges or to see your name thrown out there on the screen, don't be afraid. Tell us what your suggestion is down below and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Until then, peace.